Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Plane Mechanic Simulator. We will carry on right where we left off last time. We want to put the bottom engine cowling back on. That's not something that needed to come off in the first place. Uh, she takes quite a while to do it when you zoomed it this far out. There we go. Right, I've got that bit in. Then I can come up here and I can put that one back onto there. Like that. And as soon as that's on, I can put this one on. There. And then we can start putting all the sides back on. There is nothing quick about working on a bomber, is there? At least these clips are... At least, yeah, well, we do only have to mouse over the clip, so at least that does kind of speed things up a little bit, doesn't it? So then we can come whizzing around over to this side, and we want this engine cowling, and we put that one back on there, uh, all the way through there, like that. And then we can go to that one, and we put you all the way through. Right, there's the first bit done. I'll load the bombs in while I'm here. For 500 pound bombs. Easy. Too easy, Master Chief. Too easy. You on like that. And that one under there. That one under there. Like that. And then all i got to do now is put this bit back together on here. So I didn't take the bottom one off this time. I've just got that hydraulic pump to go on to there. There, like that. Oh, wait a minute. Fix the problem with the doors. That doesn't count as fixed. That's not counting as fixed. What? Wait a minute. I already, I repaired you. I took you off, and I repaired you. Took you over here. I put you on the table. Hydraulic pump damaged. There. Don't tell me I put the other one back in damaged as well. We'll, we'll find out once I've done this one. There. Part fully restored. Right, you all seen that. It said part fully restored. So now we go up here and I put that one back on. There we go. Right, I, I don't know why it did that. That was very strange. But it made us repair it twice. It may, Maybe I didn't repair it properly and it didn't like it. Maybe it's got more exacting standards on my repair work now. I don't know, but whatever it was, it definitely didn't like it. There, we put that one on, and then I can come around here. There. Oh, no, I got one more bit that I need to do, which is over this side. Engine cowling. There. And that bit. There. All the way along the top, and you into there. Job done! There we go. Right, so now we can send this one off. I'm going up here. I'm going to stand up here and we're going to salute it as it leaves. Fare thee well. Fair. Uh, 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 good, good. I was going to say fair pilot, but uh, good pilot. Fare thee well, good pilot. Refuel the aircraft, five points. Load the aircraft with bombs, five points. Fix the problem with the bomb bay doors, five points. Save spare parts, two is another ten points. Final result, perfect job, 30 points right there. So that makes three, two, three, seven. And on we go. I must be making good impressions on the guys at the top. They want me to transport some important person. They didn't tell me who. To Gibraltar. Almost on the limit of our range. Make sure that all tanks are filled to the brims and check all fluids and filters. I don't want any surprises on this one. So we've got to refill, refill oil and coolant. Check oil filters and fuel filters and refill the aircraft. Right, oil filters are in the wheel base. The fuel filter though, that's inside here. So we've got to undo cowlings. Um, we've also got to undo that coolant thing up there. So we're going to undo that one. 
And we're going to undo that one. Like that. And then we're going to undo that one there. And the coolant tank. Uh, I'm going to do that one. Undo it. And do that one. Undo that one as well. And then I'm going to go in here. So fuel filter. Where is the fuel filter? It should be in here somewhere. There is the fuel filter. So let's just... That one's damaged. We want to take that one off. Oh, great. In order to be able to get the fuel filter, I've got to take all of the covers off. Why can't it just let us do this easily and just, like, do a reach around? Nothing wrong with doing a reach around. There we go. Actually, that came off really... That came off a lot faster than I thought it would. Uh... I know we 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 got to take we we got to take the top off. It's not going to let us get away with it otherwise. Uh, right, I need to kind of zoom out, and then not go right through the middle of the engine. Yeah, like that right. So there's that one off. That's ready to roll now. And then over here, I've got. You know, I'm thinking that we're not going to need to do that. Well, what I'll, I'll, what I'll do is if I take this one off first, I can check and see if the fuel filter on this side actually needs to be changed or not. Probably will. Let's go in and look. Uh, fuel filter, that's looking... Yeah, that's, that's in bad condition. Right. And yes, I do have to take the top bit off. So what I'm wondering is do I need to... If I take that one off there... And I take that one off there, like that, and then I come back over here, take you off, and then I gotta take you off, like that. Uh, do I need to do the coolant bit before I take the whole cover off? I don't think I do. I think I could just do it like this. Right, that one's off there, and then. I can do a quick run round there, like that, and then fill the tank cap. So yeah, I don't actually need to worry about the, the bit inside. The, you know what? Let's go in here and we'll do the oil as well. We'll go in under, and we've got to, we well, we've got to take the caps off. That one's got to come off, and then I go to number three. That one is got to be taken off as well. Like that. Right. I'll move over this side. I come in under here. Right. And I'll bet that one's also damaged. Yes. So let's take you off. Like that. And take off that oil cap. I can reach it. There. Right. Oil cap off. Okay. So that is everything undone and ready to roll. So then we can come over this side and drop you down there we will go we will get the fuel line and we will run that one up and put that onto there and then i will go over to here and load that one up so that's going to be about 45 gallons i think into that tank maybe a bit less oh 35 wow okay when i said maybe a bit less i actually meant a, a huge huge amount less um I was, I was just testing you all to make sure that you were paying attention then we come over here and we grab some coolant and we bring that little lot up and we scramble up the ladder. And then we go coolant like that. Uh, that should be one can to go into there. I don't think we're going to need two cans to fill this. Nope. As long as, it, as, long as we've got enough in there, it's fine. So then I can throw that one down there. Next, I will take the ladder and I will bring that one over here and I'll drop that down there. Like that. Get you. Climb up and put that one onto there. And I'll go back into this one. So this here, we're probably looking at around 70 gallons to fill this. Roughly 70 gallons, I'm guessing. It's gonna be no, it's gonna be more than that. It's gonna be 80 gallons. 85, 83 gallons. Right, okay, fine. 
show me up then. Just, just, just show me to be the, the incompetent fool that I really am. I don't, yeah, that, that's fine. I, I've gotten used to this now. I've gotten used to this kind of treatment. Uh, right, now we've got to slowly, slowly wheel this bad boy all the way over here. You round that way. And bring you to about there. Actually, we need to go closer than that. Don't we? Put you to about there, maybe? That's probably about right. So then I can pick up the hose over here. Like that. And then I go prone on the ground. Like that. And insert hose up there like that. Right, now I scramble back out again. Once I'm all the way out, once I'm free, then we go over to here and we start loading that one up. A huge amount of oil needs to go into here. Absolute massive amount of oil. I'm not sure that we're really going to have enough in this tank. We'd probably be alright. There. Right. That's about halfway between. We've got five gallons of oil has gone into there. So now I need to go prone once more, and I go back in here like this. I take you, and we have to crawl back out under there. And then we come back over to this side, and I put that one away. Right, so then I'm going to come over here and take the ladder. And the first job I'm going to do is the fuel bit. Take you. We run up and we'll do that. See, by doing it like this, we're, we're kind of breaking up these jobs a little bit, which I think is making it a little bit more entertaining. A little bit more interesting. At least it's a bit more interesting for me to do it. I'll, 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 I'll tell you that much. It's definitely a bit more interesting for me to do it like this. Um, now, what was it? It was about 85 gallons, wasn't it? It was just over 80. Uh, 80 86 gallons. Right. So there's that bit. Then I can scramble back up there and take that hose and put that one away. Then I want to go and get a can of coolant from over here. I run that one over and put you into there. That, again, should just be the one can to go in there. We shouldn't need any more than that to fill this thing all the way up. Which is quite good, actually, because the other one, the other aircraft that we were using, that one actually took more coolant than this one did. So, obviously, I'm assuming that what that means is that actually the coolant system on this aircraft is more efficient than the coolant system on the Spitfire. That's the assumption that I would make with, um, with this, is that it means that this system is better. I mean, you've got the coolant radiators up on the top there, so it does kind of make sense that they would be a little bit more efficient. Just the positioning of them. Just grab that. There we go. That's another bit done. And I can come back over this way. Race back up that ladder. Take you. That is that job all done. So you're away. I've also done the coolant as well. So I can put the ladder back. You're off. I want to come over here and I want to grab that one. So we want to take this and... Take this round to the next aircraft, so uh, next um, wheel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that one round like this. And put it over there. So it's in reasonably close like that. I think that'll be all right like that. I come over here. I'm, get, I'm getting stuck on it. There and come to the coming to the back seems to work better. So then I come under there and insert hose. Now I'm stuck. Right. Go on out from under there. Now I'm out from under there. I can come back over to this side. Uh, space. Use the controls. That's going to put through roughly another five gallons, I would guess. And fill that oil up. And then all we've got left to do after this is we need to be replacing the filters. So there we go. We've got that one done. We haven't overfilled it. We haven't got any penalties for that. Anything ridiculous like that. The last thing we want after doing all of this work so far is to get penalties for overfilling the oil or something equally ridiculous. So I bring that one all the way out like that and put you away. So I don't need to do anything else on there. What I do want to do is I want to go over to the bench next. Go to there. Oil filter. So the 
Oh, wait a minute. Have I taken the fuel filters? Oh, I have taken the fuel filters off. I can't do anything with them. The oil filters I can, but I can't do anything with the fuel filters. By the look of it. So there's one. Uh, there's another. There's another. And there's another. There. Part fully restored. Now I go there and oil filter damaged. That's the one that's in pristine condition. So for some reason, it's not letting us do the job properly. I mean, it's easy enough. What we can do is we can just go under here like this. Um, there. I can put that oil cap back on and I can put that oil filter back on like that. There. And then go back over to the table again. Right. Select part to restore. I've gone and put the damaged one back on, haven't I? You 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 watch here. Look, we go and have a look under here, and I'll bet you that's a damp. No, that's pristine. So where's my oil filter? Inventory oil filter. That's not in pristine condition. Right. I'm not quite sure why it's messing me around like this, but it is messing me around like this. Uh, that's that's fine. We'll we'll deal with it. We'll put that one back on like that. Task completed. Check your oil filters. Uh, okay. If you if you say so, I'm not I'm not going to argue with it. If if it's telling me that it's done, then it's telling me that it's done. And then I'm going to look in here. I've got no parts to replace in there. So does that mean that the fuel filter is also done? Didn't I have a fuel filter to replace? Or have I already done that? No. Oh, I haven't even I haven't taken it that's why. I haven't taken the fuel filter off. There, see? I've got that one's still to remove. I took the covers off, but I didn't actually take the filters off. Right. Let's come off of there. And we'll go around this way. So I'm gonna there, two fuel filter. Right, this is definitely damaged at the moment. And I do that, and then I do that. It seems to be repairing two at once. If you've got the two items, it seems to actually be repairing both of them. I do that, and then I go part maintenance space fuel filter. It's even, like, it's looking clean. And now it's damaged it again. Quite sure what's going on with that, but it seems to have worked. So if I inventory fuel filter is saying it's damaged. So then if I go back here, damaged. Let's try that one. That's damaged as well. Yeah. I quite know what's going on with this. There's an odd little bug going with that. It's still saying damaged. Right, well, what we'll do then is if I go to option two and I go up there and I put that fuel filter on. So that one's back in place, right? And then we'll go and have a look. So now it's saying that the fuel filter is damaged. The one that I've got on me. I'm going to come over here, over this side. And we're going to put that one back on, onto there. And then we're going to take it off again. Like that. And then I'm going to have a look. Uh, right, it's still saying it's damaged. It says there is a little bug there. When you've got the when you got two of the same, there seems to be a bit of a... a the, the game is confusing itself. Uh, quite why it's confusing itself, I don't really know. I'm hoping... Really hoping that because it's confused itself so much that we haven't got something that's going to end up um, right part fully restored. I'm really hoping that when we come to finish, it's not going to turn around and tell me that we've crashed. Right, that this could be something that would cause the game to crash. But now it's 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 saying that it's completed. It's saying that it's done. That's good. All primary tasks complete. All I gotta do is put everything back together again. So we just put Humpty Dumpty back together again like this. There. Um I actually wanna go 
there and lift that one because I forgot to put the cap back onto there. Right. I can't reach it over there. Put that coolant access door back on. And then there. And that one. And then I'll put this one on over here. While I'm over here. Like that. And that one. Like that. Then we can put you on there. And we can put you onto there. Like that. And then we can put that one onto there. A quick run all the way round. Like that. And you. There. Uh, that's everything on this side. That is now all done. So then we can come back over to this side and we'll put that coolant tank back on. The, cap, the, the, the tank cap. As well as that cap. That cap. And we'll put this on. Like that. And then you. You up over there. Might go in a bit closer maybe. You can let me. Yeah. That one onto there. Close that one down. And then all I got is these two panels on the sides. And we're done. And we just have to hope that the game does not decide that it's going to crash itself. Just on the, the finish of this little bit. This, I'm, I'm a little bit cautious about this. I mean, I'm hoping it won't. There have been small patches that they've been applying to this game as, we, as time has gone on. Which means that um, I'm hoping that they've sorted out that any of the crash issues that have been that did turn up previously. Uh, there. That's everything. I think that is everything. Let's go to you. Task. There. Sign. Seems alright. Refuel the aircraft. Refill the oil. Refill the coolant. Check the oil filters. Check the fuel filters. Save spare parts for... Okay, it's only done the four. And then final result, perfect job. 30 points. That's taken us to well over 3,300. And we can continue on with our career. That was a long trip. Now such a long ride must affect the engines. Make sure nothing serious happened to them. So once again, we've got the glorious, wonderful, exciting task of refueling the engines. And then we've got to... Well, uh, re refueling the whole aircraft, not just the engines. Uh, then we've got to inspect the engines. Now, this is something that is going to take us a little bit longer to do, considering the size of the aircraft. So let's just go along and do our usual up through here and get this bit out of the way. And then... As soon as we have done all of the refueling bits, we can get started on stripping down and inspecting two full engines. That is going to take us a while. Right, let's go over there, pick you up. Let's scramble back up there and put that one in. And how much... Oh. <laughs> Completely and totally empty. Just to make this take as long as it possibly can... They're completely empty. So there's 55 gallons in there. Uh, that's the easy bit, though. 55 gallons. The other ones, uh, what? They're 120 gallon tanks, aren't they? Uh, something like that. They're big tanks. I can't remember. I think it's, 100, it's 115, maybe. Let's have a look. Let's scramble up, because it does tell us on here. Put that one in there. Your uh, capacity... One hundred and it's not. Oh, wait a minute! I, I I've got a better idea. Look, we we do it like this. Hundred and forty-four imperial gallons. One hundred and forty-four gallons. We've got to put into there. Fine, I'll do it. And there's our task completed. Last little bit of fuel gone in there so let me just come over to this side and scramble back up there we'll take you we'll let you run away there it goes RAF number five the 230 it's doing a wonderful job off it goes that's just fantastic we're very pleased with that one
It's done. It's it's done a lot of work. Has that particular little uh, vehicle. Right, so next what we want to do is, well actually I'm going to go over this way and I'm going to put all of these caps back on first. So if I just quickly run through and do that, and then that one onto there, and then that one onto there. I'm gonna s wait, oh, my bad, my bad, I forgot to, I, I forgot to do, do that little bit there. That, that little clip. Right. And then we do that. And then we do that. And then we come back. And we do that. And we put that over. And we do that. And we put that over. Right. That's that first bit. So now what I want to do is I want to go through and I want to remove the covers from the engines. And we've got to check all the engine. Like, we, we've got to check... Everything. I don't know how much of it we've got to check, whether we've got to check the rotors as well. But we definitely have to do a lot of checking. So I'm going to take this spinner off. Just going to have a look at this one, because I'm not sure if we've... I don't know. I'll leave that one for a minute. I'll leave the rest of that one, and, and we'll be able to see then if uh, everything else has been done. And I think what I will do is I'm just going to go through and I'm going to remove all of these covers because a lot of this is starting to get very samey now. Um, so if I go and remove all of the covers all the way through. Well, I've removed all the covers, so now we want to check the actual engine. We know that there's going to be some stuff wrong with it. I'm really sorry, folks, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to interrupt things there as it's time for us to head back to the barracks and get some tea. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.